Praise be to the holy name, Father. I come to you in your likeness. I come to you to pray for your words to come. For I want to glorify you and I want to praise you in all things. And you know, I want to thank you so much um, for this country. I know many hate it, but I want you to think. I want to thank you for it. My ancestors was here before the white men come. In fact, some of them could have greeted them as they come ashore. And. I want to thank you for my ancestors that did come across and come here. For I am what I am. And I want to praise you for it. And you know, I have not always agreed with everything that went on here but in America, but you know, it is my country. And it is a land that you made, and you made it so beautiful and so abundant. No one else could have done it but you, but your mighty hand as it swept across it. And Father, I want to pray for all the vets that give up their life to serve their country, to go into combat and to preserve our freedoms as it stands. Father, thank you for their courage. Thank you for giving them the strength to stand. And Father, those that gave their life, you know, in battle, be with every one of their families and bless them. Bless them in the name of Yeshua. I come today to honor the vets. I honor every man and woman that put on that uniform and did what their country asked them to do. And why for me, for you, for a principle of freedom, a principle that we could worship the way we believe, that we would not be bound to a certain religion like they were over in Europe, saying that you had to believe our way, or literally they would tie them to the stake, burn them, behead them. But they come here seeking freedom. And many men, many women have given their lives for that principle of freedom. So I could sit here and talk and say whatever I feel led to say without being put in chains and hauled off to prison like so many countries do. Some, if you even so much as read the Bible you can go to prison and even die right now, today, in some countries. But because of men and women like you that have put on your, put on that uniform and, and gave a part of your life 
some for a short time and some all your life you've made a career of it to stand for the principle of freedom to be able the freedom of speech the freedom of worship even those that don't believe exactly like me that's all right you had the freedom to do so in this country if not then our principles would be gone this country as we know it would no longer stand then we would become like Europe was tied to some religion saying that you have to worship like us or we will put you in prison we will take your life because our way is the only way I am proud of you each one of you I'm proud of my husband Carl as a very very young man he joined the service the Navy yes he went to Vietnam and he has suffered much from PTSD and and uh, the things that he has seen and that went on but he did it why because everyone in his family is military his dad was a career um, Air Force man his brothers has served in the service uh, his sister is married to a serviceman right now my grandson Kendall he put on that uniform and went over to Iraq he come back and he has a beautiful wife and children but you know he put that uniform on so that I his grandmother his mother could maintain our freedom he believed in it and he did it my brothers they served they served during the time of the Korean War and uh, I don't think they call it a war but I do because anytime you have to fight it's a war to me even though they didn't have to go over there and be in battle but they put that uniform on to go if they were sent in fact my one brother was about to load upon the ship to go and they signed a peace treaty but he would win and if he had to he would die my uncles that was in World War Two. My one uncle that had to go on the Isles and fight the Japanese, but he did it because his country called him and asked him to, just like the Japanese did theirs because their country called them and asked them but you know I praise my Lord and my Savior that he was he gave these men the strength to do this to keep my country free you know what freedom really isn't free I know people say freedom this saying but freedom isn't free it is bought with a price just like we are bought by 
Yeshua, Jesus Christ, with a price. Everything comes with a price of some kind or another. It's not really free. Our salvation is not really free because it was paid for with a great price of our Savior. Our freedom here in the United States is not really free because men and women put on the uniform willing to fight and to die to keep it free. I think today on this Memorial Day we need to sit back and really think and count our blessings. When you want to curse America and give it down the road and when you want to curse our military and go out and pick it, that really does bother me. They want to pick at these young men's funerals and say God loves dead soldiers. No, he don't. Oh, but you know what? Those dead soldiers put on the uniform and died so these people can do that. Every soldier that they go and picket this Baptist church up there in Kansas goes and pickets are picketing that boy that gave his life for them to be able to do that. Think of it. Think of it. Your freedom isn't free. There's been price as paid for it. For a principle, a belief of freedom. A belief that's beyond reasoning when men stand men and women stand and will willingly to die for a principle, a belief. It's awesome. It's, it's beyond my mind's thinking that anyone would be willing to die for a principle, a belief. Like Yeshua did for us. Like every soldier, man and woman, did to keep our freedom and still do. They're, they're still fighting over there to maintain a freedom a principle of freedom. Every time you talk against America, there was a man and a woman gave their life for you to say all of this stuff. Your freedom to say this kind of stuff is not free. If you were in any other country, most of them would have you locked up, going to trial, and maybe even, yes, killing you for it. You would give your life for it, for, for, for saying what you are, are saying. I honor all our veterans. I honor their families that stay back and, and, and they toil and keep the family together waiting for that loved one to come back. Either alive or not. They wait for them to physically hug and hold or they wait for their coffin draped in the flag to come back. I want you to think today, where would you be? If it wasn't for them, thank you in the name of Yeshua. Bless all the vets and their families. Bless America in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Hallelujah.